What's going on, everybody? This is DK Dynamite for a full breakdown of the Season 2 Reloaded blog post, which just got released as of right now. Already got a trailer, which we'll be talking more about in a separate zombie video later. But as a reminder, we got plenty of brand new coverage coming up over on Detonated.com. For those out there that want additional coverage of multiplayer at Warzone and Zombies, we'll be updating a lot of these Reloaded articles over the next couple of hours. And with that being said, folks, jumping right into things, as it says... Drop into DOS House, a remastered and chaotic map, and rain destruction in the Juggermosh game mode featuring all Juggernauts all the time. Test your luck in the new Zombie Story mission, face a new Warlord, gather schematics, and check out the new mobile point of interest in Fortune's Keep. So, once again, confirming that we are getting a Warhammer 40k collab inside of our mid-season 2 update. Got a content summary. As you can see there, we got the Vortex Decay's Realm event which is dropping relatively soon with new map variants or remixes as they call them for uh, skid row and terminal and then we're also getting bounty but for a multiplayer our new 66 map is a dos house reimagining this is a map that became a fan favorite over in vanguard a couple of years ago so it is now reimagined and situated on top of a skyscraper in the vicinity of high rise in fact that map can be spotted in the distance from one of the spawn points the layout is just chaotic as you remember rewarding operators who stay on the offensive and don't let up new playlist and map variants vortex dk's realm limited time mode uh the eldritch realms within the vortex expand within the addition of airborne and skid grow alongside turn or tetanus sporeyard and satan's quarry so those are the vortex maps we saw in season one drop into the vortex dk's realm playlist to compete on the new map variants across tdm domination kill confirm and hard points sadly we're not going to be seeing the ray gun mode come back for this playlist i did ask about that in a season two creator call and they said that it isn't coming back but look for the vortex dk's realm in-game event arriving later in the mid-season and detail under the new weekly challenges and events near the end of this article all right so we got new map remixes. They kind of fit with the Walking Dead, post-apocalyptic, overgrown type vibe for Season 2. So we got Airborne, that's of course Terminal. And we got Skid Grow, which was obviously Skid Row, almost in the name. Uh, new modes, we got Bounty, of course. So face off against the enemy in a TDM style game mode where players have unlimited lives and the first team to reach the elimination base score limit will win. The biggest player on each team will be designated as an HVT. The HVT on each team carries a flag and is highlighted for all to see and awards extra points when eliminated. Jugger Mosh. So as we predicted, Jugger Mosh is going to be tied to the Warhammer collab. Right? What are the odds we're going to be getting Juggernaut skins that are themed around Space Marines? And then we're going to also see a Jugger Mosh LTM in the same midseason update. Clearly, that's all connected. And what do you know? It is. So it's a full-out third-person experience for this LTM. And you get to be playing, or you'll get to play Kill Confirm and Domination in this playlist. Um, you're going to drop in as Ultramarines, Aspire, Juggernaut, Clad. Um, this is called Ultramars Vengeance Power Armor. Or you're going to be the Blood Angel Space Marine encased in Baal's Wrath Power Armor. I'm not familiar with Warhammer, so excuse me if I'm butchering these names here. This armor skin offers the same capabilities as a Juggernaut Recon Streak. Every player comes equipped in these uh, ornate and advanced protective suits. You're here to battle for the possession of a one-hit kill melee weapon, a flesh-tearing chainsword. In the center of the map, grab armor from falling enemies to patch back up and aim for the head to inflict even greater increased damage. In this mode, all players will display a health bar over their heads so you can better coordinate with your teammates to focus fire on the weakest link in the fight. Use heights to your advantage. These massive suits not only prevent fall damage, but also release an area of effect stun and damage effects on foes when landing from a high enough drop. A great way to initiate fights. You need every advantage as only air support streaks are allowed, meaning it's solely up to you to inflict damage on your opponent using an array of mode-specific armaments, perks, and reduced melee damage. Um, deploy in armor inspired by the, 40, the 41st Millennium. There's a Space Marine Tracer Pack coming as a part of this collab. The fearsome Space Marines on the Warhammer 40k universe are ideally suited to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with multiple Juggernauts. So you're going to be looking at a uh, Ultramars of Vengeance and... Uh, what is this? People who purchase the Tracer Pack uh, Warhammer 40k Space Marines bundle will also receive the Ultramars Vengeance Ultramarines and Bows Wrath Blood Angel Space Marine Juggernaut Recon. Oh my god, that's a mouthful. So those kill streaks will permanently be unlocked as part of the offering. So you'll get skins for the Juggernaut essentially with this purchase of a bundle. Though anyone entering the limited time Juggermouse mode brings Power Armor Inspired into the fray, only players purchasing the bundle will receive these Juggernaut or receive these kill streak skins permanently after Juggermouse mode concludes. So, to recap, you get to play as 
the uh, Warhammer themed Juggernaut skins while playing the LTM. But if you buy the Tracer Pack bundle, you can also use that skin in other modes permanently, even when the LTM goes away. Hopefully that makes sense. So you're going to be looking at uh, some skins for the Ultramarine Scout and the Blood Angel Scout, and then some Tracer Blueprints as well. So we'll talk about that later. But then for Zombies... New story mission for Act 4. Continue your journey alongside Ravenoff as you pull back into the Dark Aether while investigating a new anomaly, presenting terrifying and exciting challenges you haven't encountered before. New Dark Aether Rift. Uh, squad up and conquer the Dark Aether once more in an all-new Dark Aether Rift, earning new and powerful rewards. We have the Carries Warlord over in the Orloff military base and brand new schematics, Mags of Holding, uh, a key for the Bloodburner bike, and the VR-11 Wonder Weapon. Story continues for Operation Deadball and Season 2 Reloaded. Dark Aether is closing in again and bringing new enemies with it. Confront the anomaly and enter the Dark Aether once more. Operation Deadbolt is tasked with investigating a new anomaly in the next Modern Warfare Zombie story mission. Terminus Outcomes is becoming bolder and has followed your squad into the Dark Aether. Lean on your expert guide, Ravenoff, to assess the situation, defeat mercenaries, and survive. After completing the mission, a Frost Dark Aether Rift experience awaits. Keep your eyes open, follow the cryptic clues, and complete timed tasks to unlock access to the Rift Gate. Once inside, complete challenges to survive uh, or and survive to earn coveted rewards like the Bloodburner Key and more. So, beautiful new screenshots. Um, I'm assuming it'll be exactly the same as Season 1 Reloaded's update, or Season 1's update, excuse me, where beat the Act mission, go back to Urzikstan, collect a bunch of artifacts, cleanse them or what you have to do, and then... Uh, I'll take you back into the Rift to then complete a series of contracts to then get those schematics unlocked. It's unclear if there'll be an Elder version of this Dark Aether or will there be another Easter egg similar to the Red Worm on Urzik's stand. We'll have to wait and see. And then New Carries Warlord. Again, it's like a DMZ update. Hopefully there's a, a worthwhile reward Rift waiting for you after you defeat this Warlord. That's what I'm hoping for. But there's that. And you're going to be finding her at Kill House in the Orlov military base. New schematics. Again, just getting three of them. And you'll be getting these three by going back into the Rift after you beat the Act 4 mission. But then for Warzone, Research Vessel, Mobile Point of Interest, New Kill Streak, and New Field Upgrade. So pretty healthy update here for Fortune's Keep. So this is going to be a really cool new area of the map. A lot of people are going to drop here right when the update does release. So be careful hopping over to the Research Vessel. But as you will see, uh, keep your enemies at, or keep your eyes out for enemy operators who are also exploring the vessel. Uh, ship features multiple levels as well as its own helipad and ascender, so danger can appear at any moment, even if it appears safe on first boarding. Um, things you can find aboard the ship. A decontamination station that works like the PDS. You can watch out for enemies after activating the UAV tower. Purchase unique and exclusive items from the special buy station. That sounds fun. Toot the vessel's horn to prove you're, you've stormed the ship, and if you'd like more enemy interest in your current whereabouts, pilot the helicopter or another chopper onto the helipad and investigate the redacted and unlock the loot filled redacted. So I believe there is going to be a secret room or an Easter egg quest of sorts on this new point of interest. We'll be covering that in a separate guide here on the channel. It's rumored that you'll be unlocking a blueprint for the SOA subverter battle rifle, which is going to be coming out. Bunker Buster, again, we saw gameplay of this in the season two creator call, which I talked about uh, previously on the podcast. You essentially just mark a building, an explosion hits it, and then gas will enter the building to kind of push people out from camping, especially during late game. So brand new kill streak that might also come to multiplayer at some point. Who knows? And then the portable decontamination station. We saw these in Warzone 1. Not sure why they took so long to release for Warzone 2, but yeah, they are coming back here for the MW3 integration. You can attach them to vehicles or even underwater, wherever you guys want. General overview, we got new weapons, new store offerings, new weekly challenges. First off, the Soul Render DLC Sword. You're going to be unlocking this through the classified sector of the Battle Pass. And we're not sure what those challenges are just yet. We're going to figure that out in the next couple of days when the classified sector does open. You got to do four challenges to get four different rewards. That'll unlock the HVT or the fifth item of that classified sector. And we have a fifth challenge you have to do to get the Soul Render Sword. If you don't want to do the challenges, though, you can still go ahead, I believe, exfil with it in Zombies or buy blueprints for it via the item shop. So we'll talk about that in a second. Then the SOA Subverter Battle Rifle. It'll be a weekly challenge, probably dropping this Wednesday. You got to do at least five challenges across MP, Warzone, or Zombies, and you'll get the brand new weapon here, which is going to be firing in 762. New store offerings. Oh, there we go. They confirmed Godzilla X-Kong. Hell yeah, dude. But first off, Warhammer 40k bundles. So... We're going to be looking at the 40k Space Marines Tracer Pack, which will feature a couple of Operator skins. Got some charms there. We're going to be looking at the melee weapons. So these are going to be blueprints for the 
um, for the Soul Render, and they're gonna be, I guess, transform into the Chain Sword with really cool inspect animations. Also got a Riot Shield blueprint, and even a finishing move, which I believe leaked out previously. I'll uh, take control with the choice of three weapon blueprints featuring Warhammer Tracers and Gorehammer Dismemberments, the Angel's Fury and Courage and Honor Battle Rifle blueprints, and the Contempt Shotgun blueprint. So many images already leaked out of the Warhammer content, which I did cover in a previous video, safely, of course. We then have the Warhammer uh, 40k Sisters of Battle Tracer pack. You're going to be looking at an Operator Skin, LMG blueprint, Assault Rifle blueprint, uh, both of which will have Warhammer Tracers and Gorehammer Dismemberments, including an aftermarket part on the Holger 556. Hey. There you go. Also got a charm, emblem, loading screen, large decal, and a sticker. And, uh, there's going to be a third tracer pack for Warhammer, which is surprising. More content than The Walking Dead, which is which is honestly uh, honestly a bit of a shock. We have the Astra uh, Militarum. Uh, that's going to be a new bundle featuring, let's see how many, I think it's just one operator skin. A melee weapon blueprint. Uh, as well as, what is it? I got an AR blueprint and a marksman one, both featuring... Uh, Last Rifle Tracers and Gore Hammer Dismemberments. There will even be the Servo Skull Pet Finishing Move. Interesting, it's a pet. The fault that's going to be on your back and whatnot. We also got an Emblem, Weapon Charm, Loading Screen, Calling Card, and a Large Decal. Godzilla X Kong, New Empire. Hell yeah. Confirming another collab with uh, the upcoming movie here. Very, very cool stuff. So there'll be a new Kong Armor Operator skin. We also got a blooper there for the LMG. And even an AR, both of which will feature Beast Tracers. You're also going to be looking at a finishing move, large decal, and a weapon charm. So I guess just one bundle. I guess it's not going to be like a full-fledged crossover with like an LTM or anything, or even other cosplay outfits for Godzilla or Scar. But no, just for just for uh, for Kong, I guess. Kind of looks like the uh, Makani Kong from uh, the old Japanese movies. Uh, Dune Part 2, Harkonnen Pack. Uh, of course, 2,400 COD points. Um, oh, if you buy this plus the other Paul Atreides Operator Bundle, you'll unlock a free Paul skin. That's sad. You're not going to be getting a uh, free Paul skin for doing an event. You have to just buy two other bundles to get a free Paul skin. Interesting. But yeah, this bundle will come with some Tracer Blueprints. And then uh, I got an animated Calling Card Weapon Charm, animated emblem, midseason weekly challenges. Um, obviously, the SOA Subverter, that'll be released this week. Perfect. And then if you do eight weeks worth of challenges, so in the next few weeks, you'll be able to hit week eight. You'll unlock the uh, Inferno animated camo. New aftermarket parts coming. Get the Jack Backsaw kit. As well as the uh, Outlaw 277 kit. The Backsaw one is a double barrel configuration allowing the weapon to fire two bullets at one time. The Outlaw kit uh, transforms the Bass B into a lever action rifle. New weapon blueprint and camo. Keep an eye out for the Rook SMG weapon blueprint for the HRM9. And complete all eight weekly challenges to unlock the Rotten Inferno, which will be equipped to all weapons. Interesting. Season 2 Reloaded Events. Focus on unlocking a wide variety of unique rewards. Season 2 events continue to drop challenges for you to complete. You can do these in Modern Warfare 3 Multiplayer, Warzone, or Zombies. Dune Rule of Fate, March 6th the 13th. These are the following uh, XP milestones or the XP-related rewards by hitting certain milestones. We're not sure what the exact milestones are just yet. The Warhammer one will also be an XP-focused event. And these are the rewards you get for it. We'll be covering these even more once we get the actual uh, XP specific milestones you have to actually reach. Um, and that's going to be from March 13th to the 27th. So we got one event each week. And then the 27th to April 3rd, Vortex Decays Realm to close out Season 2. Another XP focused. Uh, actually, no, this is not XP focused at all. This one's going to be actual challenges. Complete challenges across all games to unlock rot rotted rewards. And there'll be a regular, uh, I think it's an animated worm looking camel, which is creepy looking. But yeah, these two are, are XP-focused. This one's not, which is interesting. The first Vortex event was XP-focused in Season 1. Wars of Mobile is dropping soon. Worldwide release March 21st. And that is about it. This has been DK Dynamite. Leave our thoughts down below in the comments section. What are you guys thinking about the release of Season 2 Reloaded? How are you feeling about everything that got revealed as of today? Is it enough to hold us off until April the 3rd for Season 3? I think it is. Quite a few surprises in there. Let me know how you're feeling down below. Really hope you've enjoyed and... Peace out, everybody.